Hello and welcome back to another video of trains and new. Uh, oh, that's right. We're in Trains Railroad Simulator 2019. I've been saying new era for the past five years. I've been used to saying that. But anyways, welcome to TRS 19. I am Speed Demon TS10, or again, the World of Trains. I am the original Speed Demon. And today, we're going to be driving the new steam locomotive from k Trains. Southern Railways 462 Pacific PS4. The legend herself, number 1401. And once again, excellent work as always, Steve, on these incredible, most realistic steam locomotives for trains and... It never fails to show just how much work in detail that Steve has put into each one of these locomotives he creates. And again, it's still the reason why I continuously to love and enjoy each one of these locomotives. So for today's run, I'll be running number 1401 on a CNO route. Non stop from here in Thurman all the way to Hinton. So, there is a lot that to go over with this Fowler set. So, I'll go over the entirety when we reach um, Hinton or show what co everything that comes with the Fowler set. So, let's see some of the features. Um, actually, this is what 1401 looks like now, currently on display at the, uh, let's see if I'm pronouncing it correctly, is it the Mesodians Museum? So, so, some of the features the locomotive has, you can put the headlight visor on. Put on the candlesticks. You can put on the eagle. And then, actually, on the cab or side of the cabs, we can put whatever division we want. So, I'm going to put the Richmond division on because I believe the Richmond division would be the closest to my area. And then, actually, we get a good view. The cab doors have a new feature. We go halfway. We can just have the window open. Or if we go all the way, have the whole door open. That is really nice. And we could do the same thing on the fireman side too. We can crack the window open, or we can have it fully open. And then on the roof, we can have our roof vent open and close. Nice. So for today's train, I'm going to be pulling what is, I think you can say, version 3 of the Crescent, or... We're actually from 1934 to 38. It was known as 3738. Till later, it became the Crescent. But like I said, I'll go over everything when we reach the Hinton area. So actually, if we go to the inside view, wow, another fully built custom cab of the 1401. It's... Again, I'm loving this. So, same thing from the outside. We can have the window prop open, or we can have the whole door open. Our roof vent. And the locomotive, tender, and passenger cars all got different viewpoints. And up, 
Oh, uh, apparently I'm inside the fireman. That's really nice. And also, like the um, Atlanta West Point's number 290, the PS4, or, um, uh, oh shoot, what's the right word I'm thinking of? It's fully custom built interior and have actual knobs that the locomotive has. Uh, Oh, okay, let me, um, take for example, up here, we have our turret, ma turret main valve. Alright, and what that is, um, we go on top of the boiler, is this thing here, it's our turret. What it is, is it's kind of like a steam version of a power switch. It's what runs our uh, accessories of the locomotive. So if we get back inside the cab. So it's kind of like a master switch. And we got another new knob here called a turbo generator in. Oh, listen to this. That is awesome. So what the turbo generator is, is it's what powers all the electrical on the locomotive. Like our headlight, for example. Can I have it on low beam? Or have it fully on for our high beam. And then we also have another new knob for our compressor. Oh, well, listen. Oh, that is so nice. And then here we have our steam heat. And so, what that does. It's what um, provides heating for the passenger cars. And then we got injector steam. I mean, these are all stuff, but well, these are all extra stuff that the game itself doesn't have the features, but Candle train just, you know, goes that extra mile. And then, oh yeah, we got here our Stoker jets. Again, what that does in real life for the engine is um, lets us control our airflow of where we want our fire to go. That is really nice. Got our water glass drain here. And what this does is um, it allows us to clear the sight glass of um, any, um, or what's the word, I guess, accumulation or it's what help um, gives us the or helps keep the correct reading of our water level. And then over here we have our blowdown. So if we go with the outside view. So again to activate the secondary blowdown Go to controller settings, and then this is what you're looking for, second whistle slash horn, that's what activates the um, blowdown. And 
something. We got here our knob that turns our bell on and off. Got a reverser. And also, like the 290, we got our advanced um, water injector controls. So we can turn on our overflow, pull this to the prime position, and there we go. We built out our steam craft to pump our water into the bowl. Up here, we have our blower, and actually, oops, wrong way. over here, on our farm inside, we have the um, feed water heater. This is how they farm it, puts water in the boiler, and then, and if for some reason the fireman is busy, the engineer can turn this. And that's what allows him to quickly add water in. And then over here, this is the um, this is our emergency brake or the uh, oh crap brake that again engage it, all the air drops out of the system, and the, all the brakes come on. But again, the amount of detail on this engine it's truly in incredible 1401 was one of 27 of the second order of PS4 delivered by Alco from their Richmond works and that they were all painted the green and white gold paint job and the PS4's Hold the various um, passenger trains like the Birmingham Special, and then the contest that comes with this set. We got the Crescent. So I'm waiting for this to see the safety valve pop because there's a bug in the game to where it will go off, but I won't be able to hear it. And there it is. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's run. And I will talk to you again when you reach Hinton.
everyone enjoyed today's run and um we have reached Hinton so so now we have come to an interchange point we're going to cut off 1401 we're going to have Norfolk and Western's J class 611 continue to the southern crescent eastward past Hinton Alright, let's go ahead and start moving. And also, during the run, you may have noticed that I showed another new camera mode that's in this game. Something called drone mode, and that is really nice. To be able to, like, free roam from the, around the engine while in motion, and it stays within the range. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull forward enough to where 611 has enough space to couple up to the crescent. As soon as 611 clears, we're going to back up and get 1401 ready to um, head to the roundhouse. It was like um, the old days where um, Norfolk and Western pulled some of the southern trains across their line. Actually, let's take a little trip with um, 611. Alright, so we are going to play. Well, there we go. We are on the crescent. We're actually heading to the other yard of Hinton where I will show the entirety of what comes to this follower set. would have been like back back in the day the Norfolk and Western and the Southern how the J 
Jays would pull some of the Southern Railway trains. Alright, that's 14-01 now, moving to the roundhouse. Thank you, 611. Alright. So, first off, that's still amazing. Alright, so here. We have what 1401 and her um, 27 sisters originally looked like when they were um, first came to the Southern Railway in um, 1926, I believe. And then, like I said, we had the um, Ronky. We have the different points of view on the engine. Oh, guess I was going a little too fast. So, actually, one of the things I haven't mentioned, or I didn't get a chance to mention on 1401, that when I turn on the turbo generator, now listen to it shutting down. awesome so so yes this engine can be renumbered to any of the um, 27 PS4s and I think the I think the first one was 1393 if I remember correctly and then we had the tender Wait a minute. Is this the uh, first one? Wait. Oh, oops. That's a goof from there. I'm sorry. I started on the wrong order. 
Okay. Here we go. This is with the um what fourteen oh one and her twenty seven sisters first looked like because when they were delivered to the railroad they had the um baker baker running gears on them. And then stuff we can do. Oh. We could add a running gear ladder on the sides of them. Nice. We got the headlight visor, the candlesticks, eagle. And we can have different divisions on the cab. So, so we can have Birmingham for this engine. And then the opening and closing on the um, cab doors, like on the first engine. Okay, yeah, and then this is the, uh, the tender. And then again, the tender's got different viewpoints. And then over here behind um, 1403 is what the Crescent uh, looked like originally in 1926. So, all the Crescents, well, like I say, were equipped with the mail car, the baggage lounge. Blah. The baggage buffet lounge car, the very sleepers, and uh, the dining car, and the observation car. And all the um, the baggage buffet lounge, the sleepers, and observation cars were named after um, the s southern citizens. And the names are auto-generated, so each time you place a car down, a new name comes up. And the names are changeable, too, through the um, surveyor. And all the cars have the um, inside views. And boy, I gotta show you the the mail car. And this is where all the funnies are. By Kano Trains Bonds. This poster encourages me. Then we got this other poster. And yep, and this is where all the funnies are. <laughs> I'm trying to. Reach Oh man, that is. I don't know why, but this cracks me up. You know, I have fun with those kind of people that want to call by my extended warranty. I had one call me the other day and I decided to get mad. Told him I just bought a brand new 2025 Silverado less than an hour ago and the warranty is already about to expire. What the heck, man? Why do I grow a beer? Because I am neither a woman nor a child. Well, that makes sense. Is it eggs? Mmm. For the love of God, stop raining. <laughs> Me, pops balloon because I'm bored. Everyone else on the high balloon. <laughs> oh, well. Leaking oil? You mean sweating horsepower? Mm. Oh, I think this um, rests my case. What I've said during my fifth year anniversary about being paid through through YouTube. Yeah, ads. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Putting ketchup on your steak should lower your credit score. Hmm. Wrote a song called 2020 and goes something like this. Ah. <laughs> oh boy. Her. I only date bad boys. Me. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know if that's supposed to spark a, a 
a storm, but yeah, you got two competitor soft drinks. <laughs> What's in the jacket? What's in the jacket? Oh, this is pretty cool. Got East Broad Top. <laughs> oh boy, what a champion. The average human walks 900 miles per year and drinks 22 gallons of beer, which means the average human gets 41 <laughs> miles per gallon. <laughs> a gallon of beer. <laughs> oh wow. Starting a band called a thousand twenty three megabytes. <laughs> we'll never get a gig. <laughs> oh, I think that's a computer joke about a gigabyte. <laughs> that's still funny. Nobody. Kyle. I just miss her so much, bro. Oh, okay. Guess a sledgehammer holes in the shape of a heart. Uh, okay, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Live footage of someone <laughs> letting her mom count to zero. <laughs> oh. That should be a lesson for kids. Never let your mom count to zero. <laughs> Glancing at your full tank of gas while driving, realizing that's your temperature gauge. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that would raise some eyebrows for sure. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> cute little dog wanting some pizza. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> okay, I recognize this from the Stodger Critics review of the room, and wow, that was. <laughs> One of the worst films ever made. Three hours in a car wash and it's perfect. <laughs> oh, that is so true. As soon as you get a vehicle all nice and clean, the birds just want to bomb it. I look like a cat singing <laughs> Take Me Home Country Roads. <laughs> I don't know why. That's pretty funny. Yesterday morning I was playing air drum to Metallica in my car, but I dropped a stick on my out my window, so I had to switch to Def Leppard. <laughs> oh wow. Well, first of all, I think Def Leppard is way better. And <laughs> that's that just seems kind of really funny. Like you drop a a drumstick. <laughs> Of course, the drummer of, of Def Leppard, he lost an arm during uh, a car accident, but you gotta give that guy some real talent. Um, he learned how to drum with just one arm and two feet. Literally. The big boy is a boy. Where is that written? It's literally in the name. <laughs> no dip, Sherlock. <laughs> it's hot tonight. I will sleep with an open window. Twenty-seven mosquitoes exposed. <laughs> oh wow! And then over here we have Steve Laro's April Fool's prank. I remember seeing he had a post on his um da 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 da, -da Facebook thing. But yeah, I saw he posted that the post office was so terrible that they delivered him the paint for Blue Mountain and Redding uh, 425 instead of the Southern Green and he had to actually make do with it and <laughs> I, I was just laughing like really? I, I can't believe like someone would actually believe that that prank. You don't need real life paint for these models and you know I'm not a computer person but even I knew that but still I think the PS4 looks good in blue I mean the locomotive itself looks nice in blue and in fact I could see something like this as being um a roster for my um, patron only route and then over here on the other side of the 
mail car. We got the same poster as that's on the other side. So yeah, the interiors match on on all versions of the um, Crescent or the Crescent Limited. And then we go into the um, baggage buffet lounge car. We got custom interior view as well. And then we got the sleepers. Each one of them has interior views as well. Let's see. Got the dining car. Ooh. Nice interior of it. Actually. Oh, nice. This has got to be the kitchen area. Very nice. Then let's go all the way here to the observation car. This is really beautiful. And apparently one of the AIs is stuck somewhere and doesn't know how to get to something. Why am I not surprised? Okay, so that's what 1401 and her sisters in the um, Southern Crescent look like from 26 to 29 but in 1929 um, the PS4 1393 through 1396 were decorated with the Southern Crescent emblems on their um, cylinders and on their cabs and also were named or labeled the Crescent Limited in their tenders. And then each of the cars were um, painted as in the match. Ah. There were five more of these um, Crescent Limited sets of trains to go with the new. Um, Uh, what's the word? New updated service or new equipment upgrades, I guess you could say. So they had four of the engines labeled Crescent Limited, and they had five sets of the train. I think the fifth one was used as a. Uh, like maybe. Like if uh, need uh, extra cars on another train or need to swip swap something. It was. It was an extra. So yeah, it has all the custom interiors and views. And oh, actually, what else can we do to the engine? Okay, so we can add the running gear, visor, candlesticks, eagle, and we can put a division under cab. So let's go with Charlotte. Nice. And then here is what we were using for the run with 1402. So, this is what 1401 and her sisters looked like later on when they were later equipped with, um, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, um, Welsher's running gear. So, I can't remember what the difference were between the Baker and the Welshers, other than the obvious design difference, but uh, I'm trying to think. I think one was supposed to be maybe easier to maintain. And the other one's supposed to be more benefit. Benef Oh boy. 
supposed to be more benefit towards like higher speeds. A couple things I almost forgot to mention is that the tenders have animated coal levels that go down while in use. And they also have working tender lights and about version three of the crescent from thirty four to um forty one, you may notice they're a little different from the past versions of the crescent. They have rounded they have some rounded edges on the roofs. And actually, believe it or not, what's in these rounded edges are air conditioning units. The Crescent had working AC. And that's really incredible from having working AC during the Great Depression. Or unless this was where the Great Depression was over, but... Still, back in the 30s, got a train with working air conditioning? Wow, that's really incredible. But, um, thank you all so much for watching the video, and if you would like to get this locomotive for your trains, there'll be a link in the description down below to the k &L Trains website. There will also be a link in the description to the uh, promo video of this engine. And also a link to the um, Kano Trains YouTube channel. And actually, before I close the video out, I've got a couple of things I'd like to say. Uh, one, you yeah, gotta really hand it to uh, Mr. Graham Clater Jr. I mean, the very reason why 1401 was spared from the Scrapper's Torch and then donated to the museum was he persuaded the Southern Railway to donate the 1401 for preservation and at the time he was uh, uh, I can't remember what it's actually called I think it was called a legal representative or maybe he was a lawyer I I can't remember exactly what he was. And then, you know, afterwards, became the president of the Southern Railway and starting the Southern Steam Program to, to save and run as many steam engines so that us future generations can witness the marvel and awe of what these steam engines that built this nation. It's really incredible, you know. Gotta give hats off to him or 21 gun salute. That is a real achievement. And second off, I would like to thank everyone for the, uh, the nice comments and those that were able to join the live premiere of my fifth year anniversary. And it. I guess I'm still amazed that, you know, I've recorded this long and greatly appreciate everyone's um, nice feedbacks and I can't thank y'all enough and, and um, if you would like to help support this channel, help keep these videos alive, keep them, mo keep them moving, there will also be a link to the description. Uh, to my Patreon page. Any donation, big or small, even if it's just a dollar a month, I would be very grateful for your generous donation. And I'm still trying to reach that first goal on my Patreon page to where if I could earn $25 a month, that my Adobe Premiere rental is guaranteed and that my video making on my on my accessibility to make videos is guaranteed so thank you all so much for watching the video and I will talk to you again in the next one